Hi friends, my name's Vanessa and I go to Redeemer Baptist Church. I'm gonna be reading you guys a story um, from the Jesus Storybook Bible. I know last week Joe had read you guys a story about a, a couple who really, really, really wanted a son and God gave them their son. And this couple was maybe a little too old to maybe have a kid, but God made it happen because God is awesome. So this week we're gonna learn about God make keeping his promises and us just having to trust that he's gonna do it have you guys ever made a promise that maybe you were able to keep or maybe you weren't able to keep it well god is very different god will keep all of his promises anything he promises to do he's gonna keep it and so i'm gonna take you guys along with me while we read this story about how god keeps his promises and how we just have to trust that God's going to do that. Because you know what? God is awesome. So come along with me while we read this book. The Present. The story of Abraham and Isaac from Genesis 22. God knew that his secret rescue plan could only work if Abraham trusted him completely. God had to make sure Abraham would do whatever he asked. So a few years later, God asked Abraham to give him a present. Abraham liked giving presents to God. He gave God his animals. They were called sacrifices. And they were a way to say, I love you to God. But this time, God didn't want the lamb or a goat. God wanted Abraham to give something more, much more. He wanted Abraham to give him his son, his only son, the son he loved, Isaac. Put this boy on the altar and kill him as a sacrifice? How could God want him to do such a terrible thing? Abraham didn't understand, but he knew that God was his father who loved him. And so Abraham trusted him. Early the next morning, Abraham and Isaac set off. They climbed the steep, stony trail up the mountain. Isaac carried the wood on his back. His father carried the knife and the coals. Papa, Isaac said, we have everything except we forgot the lamb for the sacrifice. God will give us the lamb. Abraham said, they built an altar and laid the wood on top. Abraham asked his son to climb on top of the wood. Isaac didn't understand, but he knew his father loved him. And so he trusted him. He climbed up onto the altar and Abraham tied his boy to the wood. Isaac didn't struggle or try to run away. He just lay there quietly and didn't make a sound. Everything was ready. Abraham took the knife. Tears were filling up his eyes. Pain was filling up his heart. His hand was shaking. He lifted the knife high into the air. Stop, God said. Don't hurt the boy. I want him to live and not die. I know now that you love me because you would, you would have given your only son. Abraham felt his heart leap with joy. He unbound Isaac and folded him folded him into his arms. Great sobs shook the old man's whole body. Scalding tears filled his eyes. And for a long time, they stayed there like that, in each other's arms, the boy and his dad. Suddenly, Abraham saw a ram caught in some bambles. The sacrifice. God had given him what they needed just in time. The ram would die so Isaac didn't have to. And so Abraham sacrificed the ram instead of his son. And as they sat there on the mountaintop, watching the embers of the fire die in the cool night air, the stars above the sparkling in the velvet sky, God helped Abraham and Isaac understand something. God wanted his people to live, not die. God wanted to rescue his people, not punish them. But they wanted, but they must trust him. One day, someone will be born into your family. God promised them. And then he will bring happiness to the whole world. God was getting ready to give the whole world a wonderful present. It would be God's way to tell his people, I love you. Many years later, another son would climb another hill, carrying wood on his back. Like Isaac, he would trust his father and do what his father asked. He wouldn't struggle or run away. Who was he? God's son, his only son, the son he loved, the Lamb of God. The end. Wow, wasn't that story awesome? 
I think it was so cool to see Abraham was willing to give up his son for God, but God didn't want that. And then if you think about it, at the end of the story, when God said another son would be walking up that hill, he was talking about Jesus. And Jesus is the one who was sacrificed. God sacrificed his one and only son, Jesus, and kept his promise so that we would not need any more sacrifices. I think that's so cool that we can see how God kept his promise, that we would not need any more sacrifices, and that Jesus was the perfect sacrifice. I think that's pretty cool. Well, friends, I thank you so much for coming along with me and reading this week's story. So if you wanna pray with me, and we'll end this week. Dear God, thank you so much for your perfect sacrifice. Thank you so much for keeping your promises and just letting us learn all about them. Lord, I thank you and I pray that we can trust you in everything that we do, that we can trust that all of your promises will come true because we know they will. Lord, I thank you for sharing your story with us. And I pray that this story would reach many, many people here, close, near, and far. Amen.